So, the experiment that we're going to look into today is Newton's prism experiment. So, before it was believed that white is a color of light and other colors could be created by modifying this white light. So, when we pass this white light through a prism, let's see what happens. So, when we pass this white light through a prism, we see a rainbow, as Newton expected. But then he realized that the pattern was much wider than based on geometry. So, then he did some experiments. Then he realized that the white light entering the prism wasn't really white. It was a combination of all these different colors that all the prism was doing, that it was separating them. But we were still relying on this prism. The experiment that we really needed is that we can form these colors without a prism. The experiment that we really needed is that we can form this rainbow without the, uh, the prism. So then he got an experiment. He started with the same prism, but then he added a lens in the system. So the lens isn't available right now, so we won't be able to show it, but we're just going to tell the theory. So as we, move, as we would move the screen further away, the colors would begin to overlap until the point we see a band of white light. But if we continue to move this, we see the same colors as we started with, but the colors were reversed. So we really see a whole bunch of colors, but we really don't need all these colors when we, when we are watching this on a TV at home. It's a combination of red, blue, white, red, blue, and green. So, sometimes we start with an original prism and we add another prism. Let's see how, look, how that looks. If we add another prism, but it's not really working as the light doesn't get the time to spread. There is only a little change of color, but if we place this prism a further away, when we place this prism a further away, then it's clear that there is a change. So, so what's the reason behind us seeing a rainbow in the sky? So when we talk about a rain, seeing a rainbow in the sky, basically the um, water droplets are acting as a prism. So when the sunlight goes through the water droplets, it creates a rainbow. And this is called dispersion of light. So we see the colors of the rainbow in the sky as the violet the most and then indigo less than violet and then so on and then red the least so we see blue because it, it just um, goes so on the violet color that we see it blue in the sky thank you that's it